Travis, uh, certainly a pretty entertaining game tonight. Uh, what did you like about your team's performance? Oh, it was. It was a uh, man. It was a back and forth game there. Uh, it's nice to get two points for sure tonight. That's a good hockey team over there. I liked a lot of our game. Um, obviously, there were some parts that I didn't think we were quite tight enough, but uh, it was a step in the right direction from last game. Do you have an update on Edler or Hamannick? No. Next up is Farhan Lalji. Travis, uh, obviously a lot to like offensively. You mentioned you like certain parts of your game. Quinn Hughes had to play heavy minutes tonight, over 27 minutes with Edler's injury and Hammond yeah. as well. Um, appeared to struggle at times in his own end. How would you assess his game? Yeah, I mean, it's easy to it's easy to sit there and say that he struggled when, when a guy is minus four. Sometimes he's not involved in all the plays. Um, yeah, he was might not have been his best game. Uh, whenever you're minus four, it's, it definitely isn't but we'll look at the tape we'll talk to him tomorrow and he'll be fine I know it's only game five but did you feel a certain level of urgency and desperation to get two points tonight yeah I felt our team stepped up their overall compete for 60 minutes um, we talked about that the last few days uh, really liked our period our first period in Calgary uh, I thought we were a lot better for longer stretches of the game tonight for sure Next up is Jeff Patterson. Travis, probably not how you drew it up this morning to have Jalen Chatfield play 15 and a half minutes in his NHL debut and getting late minutes in the game with Edler out and Hamnick uh, hurt as well. Uh, but he certainly looked like he was up to the challenge. What did you think of Chatfield? Yeah, liked his game a lot. I thought he played a, played a good game. Uh, quick skater, uh, takes away time and space. Thought he had a real solid game. It's happy for him. And I asked you after the game in Calgary, and we talked about discipline on the part of your hockey club, and it had to be better. I would imagine that was something that you guys had discussed, but uh, just the one penalty tonight? Yeah, we we did. We talked about a lot of things. Uh, it's that time of year you're still trying to get the foundation for your game, for your details, for your structure. Uh, you're not going to win a lot of hockey games in the league if you keep taking a lot of penalties and our, our guys did a good job of that tonight. Next up is Thomas Drantz. Travis, uh, Brock at that down low spot, both had two big points there, one an assist up to Horvat in the goal. Um, what are you seeing in terms of his, his development there and, and what he brought tonight especially? Yeah, uh, you know, I think that was a new position for him last year. And I, I can see that he's a lot more comfortable. Um, he's learned that spot. I've talked about that a lot. Um, you know, young pl power play guys, they can be really skilled, but they have to learn little intricacies of, of the power play. And he's definitely a guy that's, that's done that. And with the Pedersen line, the, the so-called Lotto line, um, when Perhaps, perhaps it wasn't their best game or, or sort of vintage form, but in terms of some of their dangerous stuff they can do in transition and their forecheck, uh, there were elements that you saw tonight that maybe we hadn't seen in that first Calgary game. Um, what do you think is the key for that line to get going? Uh, they were better tonight for sure. Um, you know, uh, there's so much feels like every game the media is trying to find something to talk about and uh yeah they haven't you know maybe pd hasn't had the best start he wants but tonight their power play you know he doesn't get a point but he's a big part of the power play and i thought that line played a lot better tonight um they were driving the offense uh it'll come and with the final question is daniel wagner uh, Travis, it's not often often that you get uh, five goals past Carey Price. Yeah. Especially not on just 28 shots. But how do you feel about the quality of scoring chances that your forwards and defense were able to create tonight? Yeah, you said it. We talked about that after the game. It's it's not often he uh, you score that many goals against him. He's such a good goalie. Um, obviously, our power play was a big part of it. Uh, and that they got good defense. They got a good team. They defend well. Um, 
you know, right throughout their lineup. They got, and I thought, uh, you know, to get fought, to get what we needed to win was the most important thing tonight, but uh, that doesn't happen very often. And you talked uh, before this game, you talked about the scouting that you would obviously do for any team that you're facing, but the penalty kill for the Canadians was a real strong point for them this season. Uh, did you see something in your scouting that you could exploit or was it just a matter of your power play connecting the way they hadn't thus far? I don't think you ever just pick apart a penalty kill in the NHL. You give your players option. Newell Brown does an unbelievable job with our group, um, you know, pre-scouting, teaching. Uh, he's been doing it a long time. But our players are they're smart players. Uh, they want to do well. Uh, that's a good hockey team. They're, they got a good penalty killing unit. Uh, sometimes the puck just goes in the net. And, some, and when you have a good power play like we do, when you have the man advantage, you should, no matter what, you should try to find a way to get some chances. And uh, tonight the puck went in the net.